Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Here you are. I'm Susan Watson, and this is Retha Roy Chowdhury. What's your name? My name is Kenza. Where do you come from? I'm from Algeria. Thank you. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Mohammed. Where do you come from? From Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Mohammed, do you work or are you a student? I work in a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you. And Kenza, do you work or are you a student? I was a student, but uh, I had finished at the university. What do you do? Now I have my own salon beauty. Thank you. Do you think that English will be useful for you in the future? Yes, I think that English is the most useful language in all the world because it permits us to achieve our objectives and, and to go farther than we, we think. Tell us about the people you live with. Uh, <coughs> I live with my family in my country and um, we have neighbors and they are, some of them are cousins of us, of me, yeah. Kenza, how do you get to work every day? I generally get to work by car. What did you do yesterday evening, Mohammed? Uh, I've been rather gathering with my friends and we go into one Middle East restaurant here in Cambridge. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'd like each of you to talk on your own about something. I'm going to give each of you a photograph and I'd like you to talk about it. Kenza, here's your photograph. It shows someone getting information about something. Mohammed, you just listen. Kenza, please tell us what you can see in the photograph. I can see a lady which is maybe connecting on a laptop and uh, reading on a book. He is uh, normally in a library or uh, I don't think he, she is at home. Maybe she is preparing for an exam for getting more information. Maybe she is revising. Uh, talk about the place. I can see that she is in a library. There are a lot of books and uh, she is sitting alone. As I said before, she is maybe revising or preparing for an exam or presentation or... Thank you. Mohammed, here is your photograph. It shows someone relaxing at home. Kenza, you just listen. Mohammed, please tell us what you can see in the photograph. Yeah, I see one man, he's relaxing in his sofa and he left his mobile on the floor because he didn't want to distract by his mobile and maybe he's a musician, musician because there is one guitar just next to him and um, maybe he just come from outside and he didn't take out his clothes he just start to read and having one cup of tea and relaxing in his home and maybe he's live alone because there's no one with him and his home is very tidy. There's no toys for his children or something. That means that really maybe he live alone on his flat. And I think that the weather outside is cold because he didn't Thank even. Thank you. Now, in this part of the test, you're going to talk about something together for about two minutes. 
I'm going to describe a situation to you. A local football club is celebrating its 50th anniversary and wants to give its fans a gift. Here are some gifts the club could give. Talk together about the different things it could give and decide which the fans would like best. All right? Now talk together. Mm -hmm. I think the calendar is perfect or the t-shirt because for me the calendar, you, I can see my club every day when I just check in the date, I can see my club and they are enjoying by the fifth anniversary for their, or fifth established for their club. I think the t-shirt is uh, the best idea. So if he had the t-shirt with him, he can always remember the team. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, sometimes you can't wear the same t-shirt every day. But at least you have it at home and you can yeah, see true. it, even that's if you true. don't wear it. Yeah, and for this football, I think no, because I can't play football uh, every day. If there is some students or from their fans, they can't play and keep it away from their studying or something. I think it would be a good idea for the balloon football. Yeah, and for this there, no, because or if they have a lot of children and from their fans, they can give it to their children. Yes. For book or for album. Book. I think it's album for pictures. For pictures, yes. Yes, it would be nice. So that he can put all her pictures in this album. Yeah. And he can watch pictures, whatever he wants. Yeah, and you mm -hmm. keep remembering your team by, by the cover. <laughs> It's amazing. Yes. What about this bag? What do you think about this bag? Mm, I don't think that it's a good idea. Mm, but it's useful nowadays. You can use it for going to school or for going to the gym. You can put your tolls. But Thank to you. give an Which sports do you like? Um, I prefer football. I love football. I am admire, my admirers football. I watch it. I play it. I I am very interested about football. I watch it from when I was child. I rise with football. <laughs> yeah. For me is uh, swimming. I love swimming. I really enjoy swimming. It doesn't matter if it will be on summer or on spring. I love swimming in the swimming pool, and but especially on the beach. Mm. It's my favorite activity to do. Yeah, swimming um, helped me sometimes to relax. To rela yeah. yeah, if I swim, that I lose my weight. I am like flying yes. and yeah, like floating in the water. Yeah, yeah swimming permits us to be relaxed. Yeah. Why do so many people like football? Because everyone can watch it and if you have one team in your like hometown or your country, uh, he won a lot of competitions that make a lot of supporters became, they have the same uh, admirers and the same ambition about their teams. Mm -hmm. and. For me, it's the best sport, yeah. Do, do you agree? Yes, I agree. I, I think that football is an international sport. In every country, we can see that there is a lot of teams which play in flu footballs. Yes, I agree. Do you have a four favorite sports team? Yes, for me, it's uh, the Algerian team. <laughs> do you agree? Yeah, for me, I have one favorite team. It's from England, Manchester United. I love this team. I go to Old Trafford two times. The, it was amazing. Yeah. Is it a good idea to join a fan club? Yeah, 
to take in ideas and to keep discuss about our team, what what we missing on some positions, or if we need to have a new players, or we discuss about the gomers if they have like one player that they decide to have a contract with him, mm -hmm. if he's good for this position or no, yeah. What do you think? I'm not for this <laughs> fun club. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I think it's a waste of time and I don't have enough time so f to study, so I can't uh, go to this kind of activities. Thank you. That is the end of the test. Thank, Thank you. you.